Wake up. Mm. It's late, mm. huh? You have to wake up. Okay. Yeah, it's getting up. Okay. Oh. That's gonna be too much. Where the hell am I? Hello guys and welcome to Headset VR and today we've got a total shit fest for you. We are now in home sweet home. This is Dan's Fear Carnival. Okay. For which we have been playing quite a large number of of VR horror games obviously now yesterday well recently we've had we've been going through layers of fear layers of fear if you haven't played is absolutely fantastic game but we aren't here to talk about layers of fear we're here to talk about home sweet home okay now the keyboard controls do seem a little sketchy at times and there is some writing just out of my field of view so yes some of the systems aren't that great but what we're going to do is just persist and play right through okay so i don't really know what the story is or what's going on we'll just figure it out as we go along oh Now, there isn't, it seems, oh, hand tracking, but we do have full head tracking, it seems. Okay. <coughs> oh. I wouldn't really call it home sweet home because it looks an absolute fucking dive. And I don't know what the plot is, what the story is. But, hey, that can be half the fun of it, isn't it, really? But what I do know is I'm probably going to shit myself within the next 10 to 20 minutes. So, to start with, we're just going to do a little bit of an introduction video to see what's what. Because I did just try a few minutes ago dead secret the circle and although it did seem quite a deep game it didn't really seem horror enough to be honest although it did make me jump out quite loud near the start but it was more of a th more of a thriller really yeah it does seem a bit a little glitchy sometimes okay Now, I'm not really sure what's causing that. I don't want to zoom in. I don't want description. Okay. Because it did send me back to the main menu sometimes. Newspaper dated. Yep, okay. Well, not interested in that. Oh. Yeah, it did send me back to the main menu a couple of times. I had to start there. The video over. So now it does say something in the top right corner of my screen, but I can't actually see properly. I can't see it there either. It's obviously just in VR. So the field of view perhaps could do with changing. Maybe I might give the game a try in Vorpex. See how it goes in Vorpex. Now, is this a haunted house? Now, I didn't know whether you saw that at all. Oh. Your virtual head is collapsing into something. Please adjust your head position until 
all the all white dots are in a circle. All press. So I don't know what's causing that at all. Whoa. See, there's an objective coming in my top right corner, but I'm not seeing it. Okay. I'm going to go back upstairs because I'm getting scared now. Why would I want to run towards a creepy shadow? Whoa! Yep, I think my dog was scared of that as well. Dog, shush. I don't like it when it's just black for that split second. Oh. This is giving me serious goosebumps. Why am, why am I running after this? Am I a freak or what? Is it a she? You saw that! Whoa! Okay. I couldn't really say that I'd call that particularly pleasant. Oh, where's all this come from? Okay, it seems I might have made the right choice. In, hang on. And we've gotten some like layers of fear effect here. There's footprints there. Now, I'm not sure if everything is okay. I'm not sure what seems to be a matter here. And I would like a little bit more information. Okay. Don't know what's wrong in this house. Uh oh. Creepy bitch! Run! Ah! Oh, you... She stabbed me? That's not very nice. Okay, well I think we've had enough of that one for a start. Let's continue. Okay, so we know there's some creepy bitch down here. There you are. Listen. What the fuck? That's quite chilling, though. Um, yeah, whatever. Oh, up your. Looks like this is going to turn into a bit of a chase simulator. We go into a dark corner. Watch the woman do a complete um, bit of an exorcist on us. But then there's... There's doorways... That suddenly disappear. Yeah, look. We're going to leave that door open. But a door appears over here and it confuses us and you walk into a cupboard. So, let me find the way out first. Okay. Well, that's not happening. 
But she got some bloody big feet. Crikey, no wonder she's a scary. Oh, okay, creepy bitch time. Let's get ready. That shriek just goes right through me. It really does. Yep, okay, let's run. Oh, of course it turns into the fucking wall, doesn't it? I'm avoiding it! Oh! You know, that's not really very nice, is it? So rude. Oh, I think that's what you have to really say about some of these creepy monsters. It's just kind of like, they're just cheap really and walk through the walls. Okay. Yep, there she is. What the fuck? Yeah, it's not doing it for me now, love. Can I shut the door? Ah, we can't shut the door! <laughs> Oh, now I see what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, okay. Right. And you see, this game is just shows you really why you should be careful on social media. If ever use dating apps like Tinder or anything like that, this is what you could end up with. I mean, you saw when I was playing the Blair Witch. Bloody Tinder date come chase me through the forest. Hello? What, what, if you're a ghost, why do you have to kill me with a knife? There you are. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not looking. Oh, shush. Hi. Hey lady, I can see you. Now, okay, so for the remainder of this game. Oh. Did she just barf? Ah! Uh, that's just cheating, that is. Well, I don't know how I get out of here, but you know what? I don't care, because this is where we're going to stay for the entirety of the rest of the game. Find a way out of it. How about while well, she's walked through that wall? I don't think I like this game at all. Okay. I don't really wish to go on. I'm not really sure if everything's okay here. It looks like it's causing me significant discomfort. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, piddle off! Yep, come on. Hurry up. Creepy bitch time. No, don't really care. I'm not going through that door. Behind. And I think from there onwards, this is where we're going to stay for the rest of this game. Now, if you haven't played Home Sweet Home, then you might not want to. 
because it's as creepy as hell. And it does kind of invoke a little bit of the Alien Isolation vibe. Bit of cat and mouse. Or should I say, Hunter and the Hunted. Okay, so this has been Headset VR playing Home Sweet Home. Oh, there does seem to be issues with tracking while playing this. But we're going to leave it here because my dog is a pest. And also, I'm scared shitless. This has been Headset VR playing Home Sweet Home. Hiding in the cupboard. People shit me pants. Like, subscribe, comment, but don't play this game, it's too scary.